What was that? Oh, oh, it's time for the show to start. Okay. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the Writing Lair. Another episode um, down here in my lair. And what I have here... Oh, it's been a while. It's been a while. Um, I've been busy. I've been doing a lot of... Uh, a lot of working uh, my other job. I want to say my real job, but I consider this my even realer job. This is as real as it gets for me. So, uh, and I'd like to introduce you, my friend. This is uh, God. I don't have a name for him yet. I was thinking either Lothar or Kevin. Well, this is my. <laughs> this is a uh, a wood carving, a cha chainsaw carving. I don't know if you can see him very good. Yeah, look down there. Anyway tilt my screen a little bit there so that's a a sasquatch chainsaw carving that a friend of mine made for me a couple of weeks ago which i thought is really cool so i wanted to show him to you um and he'll be sitting here with me for the for this video but anyway let me move my microphone over here by me um so welcome again to another episode of the writing lair and i'm Happy to come to you again, and I don't have a whole lot of news. Uh, things are kind of static right now. I'm just uh, 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 working away on uh, on my next novel, and again, it's I haven't made a ton of progress on it because I was also working on getting the summoning, the re-edit, and all that done on that too. So um that is done i'm awaiting my new proof for the summoning and it should be here in a few days and i will sign off of, sign off on it and once i do that it'll be uh, uh the new and improved version will be online and available on amazon so i'm really excited about it i think it's a, a an improvement and i'm always looking for improvement um Let's see what else. This I was just going to give you a little update on what's going on. And um, the other thing I want to do, so I don't want to make this a very long video, but uh, Merry Christmas. It's uh, currently December 11th, so we are still got a couple weeks till, uh, you got a couple weeks left to get that Christmas shopping done. And, I, uh, and it's also, uh, I guess I should uh, wish Happy Hanukkah, because I think Hanukkah started today or yesterday. I apologize for not being up on that very good, but uh, happy Hanukkah to all those who are celebrating it. Any friends of mine out there or watchers or fans or readers. Um, and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all coming up, all that stuff's coming up. So I'm excited about it. And uh, anyway, one thing I, I did want to talk about is I keep uh, getting over the years or since I did this, um, I get asked a lot by people for advice, believe it or not. I'm kind of shocked at the time when it happens. But um, a few weeks ago, I was I was contacted by a young man who wants to be a writer. And uh, he was asking me all kinds of questions. And I was talking on the phone with him. I feel kind of bad because uh, I can't remember what happened. Something happened. I had to hang up the phone on him because there was some crisis at my house. I can't remember what it was. But I thought uh, maybe I'd start including little uh, little tidbits of writer advice, even though maybe I'm not, you know, I'm not Stephen King. But uh, and that's my first advice is is uh, so this is coming from, you know, I wish I could tell you I was a highly successful writer, but uh, I feel like I'm I'm on my journey to become successful, and I feel like I've achieved a certain amount of success. And uh, this isn't about how to make it, okay? Because uh, maybe when I've, quote, made it for myself, I can give you more advice on that. But um, they say that uh, writing is the one of the number one dreams out there to write a book. It's like the top, like one of the top items on people's bucket lists out there to write a novel or their autobiography, or their memoirs, or something like that. And uh, I say, if if that's if, if you feel that way, uh, then go for it. How, how do you know? So how can you tell if you're a writer? How do you know if you've got what it takes? Well, I think just about everybody does. Um, 
one one thing I uh, knew about myself uh, as a kid, I it was not hard for me to keep a journal. So when I first learned about being able to write a journal or uh, uh, keeping a diary of some kind, that was my catharsis when I was excited about something, when I was depressed or scared. Uh, you know, if I had a bad day at school with a bully, uh, if I saw a cute girl that I was falling in love with at school that day, I came home and, and I wrote it in my journal. And so I've always been kind of the type to to write in journals. And, and if you're that way, if that's if you find yourself like uh, and that and that's also uh, how I tend to prefer my communication, um, I'd rather write a letter or an email, or send a text, then make a phone call, uh, unless I really know the person really well. Uh, but I do better with the written word than I do the spoken word, I think. And, uh, of course, I, you can get better at both. But, anyway, there's tendencies, and you probably know, uh, but uh, you can recognize those things. But, if, but the number one, I think, if, if you like to read, if you love to read, and... Uh, and you'll reach that point, I think. Every writer reaches a point where they're reading a book. It's really good. They're really enjoying it. And they think to themselves, I, I can do this. Or I could do better than this. Okay, You start to compare and, and you start to realize you, you might have what it takes. But anyway, back to uh, writing being one of the number one items on a bucket list and uh, that can be kind of intimidating and it's what held me back a lot of self-doubt uh, I wanted to write and I wanted uh, people to read my work and I thought well who am I you know who, who who's gonna read or who's gonna want to read what I've the stuff I've written and so you tend to have these self it's actually cr crushing self-doubt and it can hold you back, and it it held it, it held me back, and it still does. It's still, you know, you, you feel like a hack sometimes. I've written four books now, and they get really good ratings, and I get really good feedback. And and sometimes I can read my stuff and go, wow, that's that's good. That I wrote that. That came from me, you know. And then there's other times where I'm writing, and I'm like, oh, who's gonna want to read this? So you have a lot of the, that kind of uh, you're you're battling that all the time, but. Uh, if you think about it, and I think it was, um, I think it was Stephen King, or or I think a, there's another writer named Stephen Pressfield. I think it was him. He wrote uh, the Legend of Bagger Vance. Uh, that's probably his most uh, famous uh, thing he's written. And uh, I've read a few of his books. And um, <clears throat> he said, out of all the people who want to write a book, who say they want to write a novel someday. The actual people who do it is like, if this, you know, it's very, very small percentage of people who actually uh, put forth the effort and the time and actually do write that book. And uh, that's fine. And, and uh, that's great. But then you take that group of people and you can cut them down to even smaller percentage of out of those people who actually write their book, who actually publishes is another uh, another way of slicing that percentage down. So there's a lot of people who write the book and then never publish it. Uh, and then you take that group of people, the people who do publish, out of that group, how many write another book and then another book and then another book? And each time you write a book, you are putting yourself in a smaller and smaller and smaller category until you're in this tiny little niche of authors. And so that, to me, is a very motivating uh, way to look at it. So today's writing advice, I'm not going to go on and on and on and on and on. I'll, I'll probably pick up where I left off. Uh, with each video, maybe I'll offer a tidbit of writing advice. But... <clears throat> um, Today's writing advice is, is you can do it. And if you're feeling like you want to do it, you should. And I believe everybody has a great story to tell. And, uh, and you can, 
you can tell in your way. Um, my my book my my books I've written, these kinds of stories have been told before, and uh, it's easy to throw your hands up and say it's all been done. It's all been done. South Park already did it. If you, I don't know, if, or, or Simpsons already did it. That's a, uh, a reference to the Simpsons. So uh, there's a joke out there that you can't you can't write anything new because the Simpsons have already done it, <laughs> which is kind of true. But um, you can do it. I've told my I my you know everyone's heard every kind of story, but they haven't heard it from you, and they haven't heard it in your unique way. So uh, my advice is. If you're going to do it, then do it. You know, uh, start. Start today. Start writing. Uh, and uh, I took the pressure off myself with my first book. I told myself, you don't have to publish this. This doesn't have to go out. Just write a book. Because I'd written, I'd, I'd started several books and never finished. And that was the one. the one thing I promised myself was, I will finish this one and I, I might not publish it if it's not very good if I don't like it I don't have to publish it so turns out after I was done writing it I read it and I thought it was good enough I thought it was pretty good so I did publish it but uh, there's no there's no rule that says you have to publish it but you do have to write it if you don't write it uh, it's not gonna get it's not gonna write itself so, uh, let's see, how many minutes are we at here now? I don't want to take... Okay, we're getting up there. So, um, I, I might do another video here in the next little while. I do want to... Last time I I, uh, I told the story of the blood home. That was kind of fun. So, I've uh, got some more stories to tell, I think. And uh, uh, But I'm getting kind of long now. I don't want to make these videos really long. And boring, so um, it, I don't know. Maybe they're not boring, but it's been a while since I did one, so I thought, and I didn't really have a big plan. I wanted to show you Lothar here. I want to call him Lothar or, or Grog or Kevin. <laughs> I don't know why that cracks me up, but anyway, um, I will. Just keep trying to this this uh, YouTube channel. It's an experiment, you know, and I don't know how to structure it exactly yet. How I'm gonna uh, how I'm gonna do it yet, but uh, I figure it's uh, it'll kind of evolve as I go. But uh, I've got to make the videos for them to evolve. But I like the idea of telling more stories, uh, going to locations if I can. I, I, I thought that was cool when I went to the Blood Home and, and recorded a little video from that location. So I thought that was kind of fun. So I might do more of that. Uh, writing advice, tips uh, about self-publishing, and just uh, general information on where I'm at and what I'm doing. So uh, I just want to take a little time. Uh, I scheduled some time for myself to write tonight, so I don't want to spend all night doing videos. But I'm going to get back on it. Uh, I want to release. I want to get this book finished that I'm working on now and, and have it have it out to you as soon as possible. So um, with that, I guess I guess it's time for me and me and Lothar to, to sign off. Don't you think so, Lothar? What's that? Yeah. Yeah, Lothar says we should sign off. So he's, he's getting bored with it. So <laughs> all right. Uh, friends and fans and readers, uh, until next time, I wish you all a happy reading. And uh, if I don't see you until after Christmas, then, then Merry Christmas.